Lord. Today I want to meditate from the book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 7. Let me read that. Thus say the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Why did God tell to God's people to consider their ways? This is a group of people who went to Babylon for 70 years into captivity and God brought in a new kingdom called Medo-Persian Empire and brought the Babylonians down and the Medo-Persian Empire asked the people to go back. 50,000 people of Jewish people came back as a promise of Jeremiah back to Jerusalem and started building the temple of God that we read in the book of Ezra. It got some opposition and it stopped and for 18 years the rebuilding of the temple had stopped and God sends two prophets, Haggai and Zechariah, and Haggai comes and says, consider your way. You have not given importance to God's ways. Four thoughts that I want to tell. Number one, God had a complaint. God is asking in the beginning of the book saying that is it time for you to build your paneled houses when God's house is lying in ruins? <clears throat> What is our priority when we are looking at things of God and our things? What hurts us more? Our problems hurts us so much, but what about God's things? Lost soul, missions, church, God's people, holiness, purity. What happened to us? Why are you not bothered about us? We need to ask that question. And the symptom when God said, you are really fruitless. Whatever you try, nothing is happening. Because you had been focusing on your things and you are never satisfied. That is a great symptom. And God is asking them to restart the building of the temple so that God can restore them. And God promised them saying that God will restore and make them fruitful. And the miraculous hand of the Lord will be there. That will be the result. God bless you. Let us come back to the Lord. Give importance to God's things. God bless you.